Hi everybody, a very warm welcome to all of our new parents and carers who will be joining our Quags family in the next few days and a big warm welcome back to everybody who hasn't seen us for a few weeks. My name's uh, Mrs Southworth and I'm the head of Primary Phase. I just wanted to just share a little video message about our uh, plans for a safe and smooth start to our new academic year and what the start of the year is going to look like, what's going on in the classrooms and a few of our little routines as well. Okie dokie, so what will our return to school look like? So in September, our pupils will return to school and they'll be in their classes as much as possible. Although we don't need uh, class bubbles the same, then but we will still be trying to reduce the mixing of both pupils and staff throughout the day as much as possible. We just feel that those preventative measures are still important at the moment. So our pupils will be in their classes or year groups for the majority of the day and this will apply even during break times and lunch times too. Everyone has adapted so well to everything that's been asked of us over the past few years um, and I'm sure that this year will be no different but we hope that it'll be a nice smooth year with no interruptions. We just need to make sure that everybody tries to follow the guidelines in and around school to ensure that everyone stays as safe as possible. Okay, a few daily routine reminders. So we'll begin our day back with a soft start. So that means that our gate from Duke's Brow will be open at 8.20 in the morning and it will close at 8.50. This should allow a nice steady flow of drop off time, which alleviates a bit of parking, but also allows our children to settle um, more quickly as well into the classrooms. So our pupils will be dropped off at the gate from years one to six. We won't allow parents in in the morning but you'll be met by myself or the deputies and the pupils will then come straight up into school. And for those of you that are a little bit worried about where their children might be going or the children that are a little bit worried about where their classroom is because they've forgotten because we've had quite a bit of time off school, don't worry, there'll be lots of adults around on that first day who will be able to guide you to your classroom. Our EYFS parents, you'll be able to come in and drop your children off at the door because we feel that that would um, benefit them when they're transitioning into school. Our timetables are still going to be a six lesson uh, day, but what we're going to do is over a two week period, that's where our timetable will run. So for instance, this will help with the swimming element of an, our timetable. So the children will get the same amount of time to do their swimming lessons, but it'll be blocked into uh, once over a two week period. So they'll get the length of time in the pool. This will help them sort of like develop their skills uh, a little bit more because it will give them longer in the pool. Similarly, for subjects such as science and humanities, you know, if they're doing a scientific investigation, it will just allow that length of time where they can perhaps have a double lesson to conduct an investigation and then follow up with a written task afterwards rather than waiting to the following week. So we're going to try our two week timetable and these will be shared on Google Classroom with you each week. The lessons will still be taught by class teachers or by the form teacher and with our specialist teachers as well, who we're very lucky to, to have here at Quegs. Our new school values will be put into place in September. So last year, some of you may remember that everybody was asked, the pupils, the staff, the parents were all asked for their views on what they thought the, uh, the most important values were for their children. And what we've done is we've collated all that information and we've come up with three golden principles. So our three key values, we're calling them three golden principles. And we'll be sharing those with our pupils over the next few weeks to get them embedded and they'll be form part of our assemblies and our everyday language around school as well. And of course, we expect best behaviour from everybody at all times and those wonderful manners. We always like to hear lovely manners. We'll still continue with regular hand washing, sanitising and cleaning of equipment um, in the areas between lessons two. I'm very pleased to say that our assemblies will be back this year, so we'll be able to conduct some assemblies face to face, which I'm really looking forward to getting all of our pupils together, whether it be year groups, key stages or as a whole school. And still some of those will be also done virtually as well, so we'll have a mixture of those. Pupils will wear their school uh, full school uniform as well because we want be, we want our children to be smart because I feel if you're smart, it feels like you're ready and prepared for the day as well. 
And on PE days this year, children will still come in in their school uniform and they will bring their kits with them and they'll get changed into their kits in school. All pupils will have the opportunities to have a hot lunch, hurrah. So all of our children every day will go over to big school and they'll have a plethora of options um, of food choices, whether that be warm or cold, but they will get that option to have a warm lunch every day. And at the end of the day, the dismissal will be in specific areas and unfortunately still no playing on the school grounds. And I'll explain a little bit more about the areas in a little while. OK, so what will our classrooms look like? EYFS will continue to work as a unit. So they have got two classrooms with a middle area and also the outdoor area as well. And they'll be able to free flow throughout those four areas throughout the school day. Year one will have some groups of tables in their classrooms and they'll also have some exploratory learning, some continuous provision within each room and within a shared area upstairs. What we've done is we've moved our two year one classrooms up to the first level in the key stage one building, which will allow a little bit more free flow between those rooms as well. In years two and three, our pupils will be grouped into small groups. So the tables will be put together and they're in small groups. And we feel that will work best for them in those year groups. But again, we will still minimise the amount of movement in the classrooms as well. In years four, five and six, the children's classrooms will be laid out similar to this picture here, which will be in rows again. So we feel that those children have worked really well in those year groups working in that way over the last year or so. So we're going to continue with that to begin with. And again, the movement will be minimised within each room. You may find staff wearing masks around school, but of course that isn't um, statutory at the moment. Hokey dokey, what will break times look like? So all break, break times, all break times will be undertaken in classes in a designated play zone. So we've got zone one, two, three, and then the adventure playground. We actually have a zone four as well, which is off to the right. Uh, we use that perhaps at lunch times. Each year group will have their own bag of equipment to use and each class will have an allocated morning break in one of the zones. EYFS is slightly different as they will have that free flow, so they will have break times as and when throughout the course of the day. In an afternoon, Key Stage 1 have a timetable break time, but Key Stage 2 have what we call a flexible break time, which will allow them the break if it's necessary or if it's needed, and that will be decided on by the teacher. Okay, our entrance into and exit out of primary phase. All year groups will enter by the Duke's Brow entrance and they begin entering at 8.20. Only our EYFS parents, as I said earlier, will be allowed onto the school site and able to drop their children off at their EYFS classroom door. At the end of the day, each year group has their own area for dismissal and each key stage has its own dismissal time. EYFS, the gate will be opened at 3.20 for you to go and collect your children. Year one and two, which is key stage one, your dismissal time is 3.30 and key stage two is 3.40. EYFS pupils, you are demarcated on this map with the white arrows, so they will exit via the EYFS doors. Year one plus any EYFS siblings are marked in pink on the little diagram here and they will be collected from the reception playground. Year two pupils and any younger siblings will be collected from the top playground and that's marked in yellow on the diagram. Any pupil with a sibling will leave the school with their eldest sibling from their dismissal point. Years three and four, plus any younger siblings, you'll exit from the gym car park, which is marked in a yellow arrow and an orange arrow on the diagram. Year five children, plus any siblings, will exit from the top playground. That's marked in blue. Six JT, you will leave from the key stage two main building door. Six LB, you will leave from your classroom door. However, any year six child with a younger sibling will be dismissed from the adventure playground. So things to remember, working together is key. We are a 
Quegg's family, that's what I always say. We are a Quegg's family. So working together is key. We want the best for your children, just as you do. So working together makes it all work splendidly. Fantastic behaviour is expected at all times. And respect for our rules and for each other. Just remember that we are here to support you no matter what, okay? Everybody has worries, everybody has concerns. People think, oh gosh, that's really worrying to me. Why haven't they told us about that? We're here all the time. So please do let us know if you've got any queries, questions, concerns. You'll always be listened to and we'll always rectify the problem or get to the bottom of it as soon as possible for you. It's all right to feel worried. I'm sure our children do too. I'm sure some of the staff do too. But we are really, really looking forward to having you back in school. And just a little reminder that for our new children joining EYFS, our reception class, Thursday the 2nd of September is your first day. And for everybody else in Key Stage 1 and 2, we will see you on Friday the 3rd of September. And we cannot wait to see you back in school. So... Enjoy the rest of your time off and we look forward to seeing your lovely faces back in school very soon. Bye.